The first points of the evening go to the visitors. France caught offside and Stephen Jones converts the resulting penalty. But the French respond almost immediately with a penalty of their own. Morgan Parra making it 3-3 with six minutes gone. Just three more minutes elapse before France are caught off their feet, meaning another penalty for Jones, another three points for Wales. 3-6, nine minutes in. France thought they'd scored the first try of the game as they broke down the Wales defence, piling in on the Wales try line. Emmanuel Harinordiki claims he grounds the ball. But after referral to the television match official, France are adjudged to have handled in the ruck. Well, this is what the television match official would have seen. A little harsh, perhaps. It remains France 3, Wales 6, midway through the first half. The first legitimate try goes to Wales. Tom Shanklin, lucky to be on the pitch after an earlier dangerous tackle on Harry Nordiki, muscles his way through the French defence. The ball recycled, Stephen Jones releases fullback Lee Byrne on the left wing, who goes on a searing run, cutting inside his opposite number, Maxime Medard, to touch down under the posts and give Jones the simplest of conversions. Wales lead 13-3 with 24 minutes gone. Morgan Parra, not a specialist kicker, is given the chance to narrow the gap after Wales are penalised for another infringement at the ruck. It's three kicks out of three for the Bourgoin scrum half. France six, Wales 13, approaching half-time. France do get their try on the stroke of half-time. It comes after a blistering turn of speed from Harry Nordiki. As France recycle at the breakdown, hooker Sylvain Sarzewski pulls the ball out of the ruck and dives inches short of the line. Flanker Thierry Dussotois then levers the ball from under the pile of players and crosses over. The conversion is successful and a tight first half is reflected perfectly in the scoreline. At the break, it's France 13, Wales 13. Twelve minutes into the second half, and quick ball and quick hands from the French creates havoc in the Welsh defence. Julien Malzieux comes close, but spins the ball left where France have players in numbers. They spill the ball, but Medal reclaims it before Wales can take advantage, and Cédric Hemans goes over. Although it takes a decision from the television match official to confirm the try. The conversion missed, France lead 18-30. France throw away the chance to add a further nine points through two missed penalties and a drop goal, but Parra converts possibly the most difficult kick of all from the Welsh 10-metre line. Ten minutes to go and France extend their advantage to eight points, 21-13. But Wales are still in the game as France are penalised for coming in at the side. Substitute James Hook reduces the deficit to five points with seven minutes remaining. France 21, Wales 16. A nail-biting finale. Wales need a converted try to win, and it looks on as the ball is spread down the line. There are numbers outside, but Henson goes alone and is hauled down. Hook tries to retrieve the situation, but Wales have fluffed their chance. And to add insult to injury, France forced the turnover and clear to touch. What an escape for the French. And that proved to be Wales' final fling. France hang on for a crucial win and are right back in the competition with two wins from three. For Wales, it's their first defeat. Final score in Paris, France 21, Wales 16.